Hey, I'm Connor with GME Supply, and in this video, we're gonna explain some new updates to the Ronin Power Ascender and show you some new accessories for this revolutionary new tool. If you saw our last video covering the Ronin Power Ascender, you'll know that we're extremely excited about this product and the potential it brings to the at height industries. If you missed that video, click right here to get the rundown before we explain what they've changed. However, as with any first or even second generation mechanical device, there are small usability improvements to be made that can only be discovered with extensive field use. And that's exactly what Ronin found with this power descender. Following, we'll explain a few common bits of feedback we hear from users and what Ronin has done to this device to address them. For starters, we have the tensioning dial. In a nutshell, this adjusts the amount of grip that the device is applying to the rope, which means this has to be adjusted depending on the size of rope you're using. Now, we've all heard the term righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Only in previous generations of this tool, that was flipped, creating a confusing system for easily loading the rope. Now, that phrase applies. For larger diameter rope, turn it left to loosen it, and for smaller diameter rope, turn it right to tighten it, which leads us to actually loading the rope. If you've had any experience with previous versions of the Ronin, you may have initially had some difficulty feeding the rope into the device. Loading the rope required a delicate touch of adjusting the tensioning dial, feeding the rope into the device, all while controlling the thumb wheel. That method is no more. Simply place the end of the rope into the top hole. You may have to adjust the tensioning dial slightly to fit your specific rope. Activate the thumb wheel, and the device will pull the rest through. Lastly, they've addressed the thumb wheel itself. We've heard stories that if you mash down too hard on the thumb wheel, you can actually push the switch into the handle. This was especially an issue with new users panicking and gripping the handle too hard. Now, Ronin has reinforced the handle behind the wheel, so forcing it through is no longer possible. The Ronin Power Ascender is now easier to operate than ever before. But they didn't just stop at improving the usability of the tool, they also have an exciting lineup of accessories to improve functionality. Let's get into a few of those right now. They now offer a replaceable handle that features a dead man's switch. This requires you to pull that trigger on the inside of the handle before the thumb wheel becomes operational. Although the thumb wheel now has a guard to protect it from accidental activation, this dead man switch acts as an extra safeguard against unwanted operation. Next, Ronin offers a remote for this tool. This remote works within 300 feet line of sight, has a 10 hour battery life, and is programmed to each specific device through Bluetooth. So one remote will not work for multiple devices. A common use for the remote would be to get multiple climbers up a structure using one Ronin device. However, this also requires a specific brake handle that will latch the brake into open position and allow the remote user to lower the unit back down. Just as a disclaimer, the remote is not designed to work for rescues as the brake handle must be manually open to allow the device to descend. Now, the Ronin Power Ascender isn't just made for going up. With the new tripod mount, you can attach your Ronin directly to a rescue tripod and use it to retrieve an injured worker. This could be a game changer for those confined space situations or high angle rescues where the next best thing would be a manually operated winch. Speaking of winches, they've also developed a hitch mount that allows you to attach the Ronin to the trailer hitch of a truck for lifting and hauling applications. This hitch mount with its wide selection of ANSI rated attachment points allows a variety of configurations. Whether you're using a friction saver at the top of a tower to lift things up and down the side, or connect your rope to the side rungs to do an angled ascent up the tower, this is the accessory for you. Once again, the Ronin Power Ascender is a game-changing tool in the ad height industries. If you're interested in adding it to your arsenal, or you have a previous generation Ronin and want to know how you can upgrade, give our gear experts a call or visit us at gmesupply.com. Stay up to date with everything we're doing this year by subscribing to this YouTube channel and following us on social media.